So guys, now we're here with Earl, one of the biggest promoters in the salsa scene on the East Coast or the United States or around the world. And of course, we take the opportunity to ask him this important question. Therefore, Alba. No, no, you ask the question. Oh, come on, it's much nicer when you ask him. Okay, do you get bachata boners, Earl? So this is the situation. You are on the dance floor, you've got this guy that you really like, he's super hot, he asks you to dance bachata, you dance bachata with him, and you feel the bachata moment. What do you do? Um, I do this. Hmm. Really? And I back it up. <laughs> yep. So my question is, do you have to get close to get a boner? I do. No, I don't touch the boner. <laughs> you know what? I don't touch the boner. Don't touch your boner. After two or three records, I'm just saying, hey, look, baby, you want to come over to my house? You know, I can't be dancing too close to my room for so long. Either okay. way, you're pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, a little extra something going on. <laughs> Some like beginner classes, salsa bona one, two, and three. <laughs> <laughs> third level. I think that might be good. I mean, could you feel, feel different in your ballet? Or, yeah. Yes? Yeah, yeah, I definitely know. <laughs> uh, you know. I definitely okay. know. Bacha if I have the bachata <laughs> corner, oh, I can't have the bachata corner. I think cannot have a bachata corner. <laughs> I don't understand the poor guy. Different. I mean, you're a very pretty girl. I mean, it's a natural wreck. What can this poor guy do? He needs to think about his grandmother while he's dancing yeah. bachata. But he didn't want her. But it's bachata. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. How many bachata boners do you have a night? <laughs> you know, but you gotta control it. You gotta put your Wu Tang mental breathing skills in and think about the girl, how she will feel. Keep it in mind, guys. You know, it's natural, it will happen. Yes, you cannot control it, but be respectful, okay? The barbecue is gonna be lit up. If he's not like making it super sexual, if he's just a normal guy not like forcing it up on me, then I might keep dancing. And if, if he seems harmless, but if he's like, hey baby, what's up? No, I'm gonna be like, okay, see you later. What advice would you give younger dancers, you know, unexperienced, they have problems with control and they feel during the dance something is happening to their body and so what would be your advice for these guys? Well, I think they probably need to stop doing the urban style bachata and learn to do the Dominican style bachata where they're not so close to the lady so the lady won't realize that they are having a bachata moment. They move back. So it's like I, I round here and everything like kind of comes out. An awkward bachata. What's the purpose of bachata? Uh, well, I, mean, I think the purpose is, you know, it's a boy-girl thing. People like to get close to one another, and you know, I mean, it's not, it's not as hard as salsa. It's, you, you yeah, know, it's like took me soft. It took me soft. No, no, no. I mean, and what's your reaction normally if you, if you doubtful or you think there's something happening? Um. Well, I just try to pretend it's not happening and just pull over, move, make sure there's safe distance. For the classical hand on the chest, right? Yes, absolutely. And there are never instances where you put the hand on the shoulder to pull a bit in. Hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. So you haven't met the right guy yet. Like me, like he's really good looking, you know, like, yeah. I, you know, I'm, but I'm half joking though. I mean, if, if it's on, but I mean, she made it happen. You know what I'm saying? You can't be apologetic about it if she made it happen. Right. If she inspired it, if it's inspirational. It happens sometimes. I mean, I can't bullshit. It happens sometimes. But you try to control yourself. You don't get a full on, you know, hardcore boner. You gotta get a chubby. You know, I mean, you know, you, know, you, know, you gotta, yeah, you know. I think you're not. I've never experienced it. That's a lie. I don't think you get that. Come on, give us a truth. No, you're an you instructor. You're an instructor and you're dancing. No, I'm on the dance floor. Think about all the beginners who are so experiencing it. So what I do is I use my frame to create some distance. And you never liked it? Not even with the right guy, not with the right guy. No. You it's never happened with the right guy. Ah, that's the part, but if it would happen with the right guy, would you be happy? <laughs> <laughs> Out of this is an answer that. But she answered it already, look at his smile. 
Anyway, catch up sometime. Anyway, sometime. I mean, if you ever want to come to Dan Salsa, come to see. He sees a very friendly <laughs> scene. <laughs> You're open to everybody. We call it Bone China. Bone China, evidently. China boners. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I would call it that. And I don't pay a lot of attention to it. Or I don't really seem to you notice it. all the time. I don't think, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I do feel it all the time. I don't pay that much attention. But I might, maybe like one a night. Maybe if that, not even that. One a night. So, <laughs> so a size of bonus are okay. Well, uh, I've never got a salsa boner. I don't get that close enough. I don't, me neither. I mean, I don't. But he's like, he's all up in my personal area. I go like this. So you guys actually direct and touch it? But it could happen. I, it's not gonna happen. Okay. That's my documented answer. <laughs> Sometimes they like the barbecue. I mean, you know, you're gonna eat the beef biryani sometime. We all came to this world somehow. Exactly. Ask, ask your parents. It happens. It happens. How are you gonna feel it? Huh? <laughs> How is so, he gonna deal with it? I'm gonna deal with it. Happy? Huh? Happy? So hold on for a second. I will probably <laughs> Probably back in the day when I didn't have a wife. But now that I have a wife, I don't. <laughs> I don't get what. I try to stay away from runners. But uh, the first thing I will do. Yes, of course, you have to. This is the first time I've ever been approached about a, a salsa or a, a bachata boner. Uh, you know, you go into the club and it's not like you expect, you know, okay, I'm gonna turn up the barbecue. I'm gonna turn up the big barbecue and, you know, I'm gonna dance with that woman and that woman's gonna feel my barbecue. You know, it's not like that. You don't go in expecting, yeah, she, I'm gonna have this raging boner and she's gonna dance with me. It's not like that. Okay, so imagine, this is the, the situation. You are on the dance floor, you spot the guy that you like, he's really hot, he comes to you, he asks you to dance bachata, you say yes. You start dancing bachata, you feel a bachata boner. What do you do? Dance? Keep dancing? So you like it and you keep dancing and like closer? Whatever you leave. They give yourself to the man. Sure. Are you happy about that? About the bachata boner? I am, yeah, I like him. Why not? Yeah. What does that depend? Does it depend on the guy? <laughs> does it depend on the guy? Um, you mean I can't help it if they have it. That's a does your reaction, your happiness or your <laughs> disappointment or depends on the guy? You mean if I keep dancing with him? Um it depends on how he's using it. <laughs> I mean... Sometimes, girls will smile, and they have a very big smile, and then, yeah. go ahead. Most girls will never admit that. I know, right? That's At not, least not for the camera. Liders. Liders. This is very important. All, most of the girls we talk here, yeah, they have also an off-camera statement here. Which off is camera? Off camera. All of them are liars. Here we have our first honest girl. First honest girl. She likes the bachata boner. Everybody welcome in DC. Bring your wife, bring your family, bring your children. Everybody welcome in DC. <laughs>